In this English lesson, I will teach you the difference between wish and hope. Let's get started. Don't miss a lesson. Click the red subscribe button, then click the bell. Hello, Real Fluency friends. I'm Trisha, and I'm here to teach you real English used in real life so that you can reach real fluency now. And today, I will teach you the difference between the words hope and wish. And make sure you watch this whole video because I have a quiz at the end so that you can test yourself on how much you remember. And try not to cheat. I'll have the answers in the description, but try to answer first. You can answer in the comments if you want, or at least answer to yourself first. Now, if you see many of my videos, you know that I have a dog and her name is Hope. Unfortunately, she can't be in these videos as much now because I'm standing and if she's down here, she's too short and she doesn't show. But anyway, so today I decided to talk to you about the word hope and also the word wish because some English learners get them confused. Hope as a verb means to want something to happen to, or to be true and to think that it could happen or it could be true. As in, I hope a lot of people subscribe to my YouTube channel. He hopes to sell a lot of cars. We are hoping it won't rain on Sunday so the kids can play outside. She hoped she could go home soon, but she wasn't able to return for a while. Special note here about um, hoped, past tense, H-O-P-E-T, for past tense, had hoped for something, and hopped, which is H-O-P-P-E-D, hopped with two P's which is hop, H-O-P, hop, hope, hoping, and hopping. <laughs> hopping is like hopping up and down like a bunny rabbit. Hop, 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 hop. <laughs> it's different than hope or hoping. <laughs> you don't want to confuse those. Hope as a noun is the feeling of wanting something to happen and think that it could happen. A feeling that something good will happen or be true. So, you know from this line, if you've watched my videos, if you watch to the end, I always say, with hope, anything is possible. Other sample sentences are, her hopes have all been fulfilled. And fear can hold you prisoner, hope can set you free. And that line comes from the movie Shawshank Redemption. I really like that movie. And I believe one time I posted I, a picture of a movie poster from that movie because I really, really like that movie. A related word is hopeful, which is an adjective. It means to be full of hope. A sample sentence with hopeful is, I am very hopeful that your English will improve. You just need to watch more of my videos and take my course. Hopeless is also an adjective and it means to have no hope, as in, he thought it was hopeless that he would never speak English fluently, but he was wrong. And of course, Hope can also be a name as it's the name of my dog. It's a female name. I have known people, humans named Hope too, but I also decided to name my dog Hope. Wish is, as a verb means to want something to be true or to happen, or to want or to ask somebody to do something as in, as you wish. If you've seen the movie The Princess Bride, in English, at the beginning, the one guy keeps saying, as you wish. But this in wish is something that's not as likely to happen compared to hope, and it might be impossible. Some sample sentences are, I wish I was taller, and she wishes she had a sister. As a noun, it means a desire for something to happen or to be done. Thinking about something that you want and hoping that you will get it or that it will happen. Um, as in, make three wishes. Or blow out the candles and make a wish. A related word is wishful, which is an adjective. And it's showing, showing a belief that something will happen or succeed even though it's not likely to happen or succeed. The sample sentence is, it was only wishful thinking that he could 
learn English without taking an online course. Now let's review the differences between hope and wish. Hope is used when something is likely to happen, or at least it's possible that it happen. Wish is used more when something is not likely to happen. It might even be impossible. And it's usually used in the past tense. Like, I wish I had done this. I wish I would have done something else. All right, now it's time for the short quiz about wish and hope. The answers will be in probably the description. You may have to scroll down, but please don't cheat. Try to answer at least to yourself or answer in the comments before you look at the answers. Okay, so fill in the blanks with either hope, hopes, wish, or wishes. Number one, I blank I had a million dollars. Number two, I blank it doesn't rain anymore. Number three, she blank to do well on the exam. Number four, he blank he had more friends. And don't forget, uh, give the answers in the description, but try to answer first. You can try answering the comments. And like always, if you want more practice with English, then use it with the comments, right? Whatever you want in the comments, and I will answer you back. And I can help correct your English or answer questions. And also, you can make your own sentences with hope or wish. And I hope you will try <laughs> making your own sentences in the comments with hope or wish. But before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel over there. Or down here, you can click and you can sign up to get free ebooks to get so and other information so that I can help you more with English. And over here, you can watch another English lesson for me. That's all for today. And remember, with hope, anything is possible.